Hey, what's up, Freight fans? Um, Freight guy here. Got a new video for you today. Uh, this is something different. I uh, I had golf on Sunday, which I've told you guys before. That's what I do on Sundays. So I went out and I uh, I got to play with my my son, who's here from college right now, and uh, one of my best friends, Mr. Jesse, uh, who you guys have seen before. And uh, little background story to the story to this particular story. So. Um, on Saturday night, I get a call from a longtime cohort of mine who has been in this business for uh, about as long as I have. He was uh, uh, the manager of the Hermosillo, Mexico location in Sonora, Mexico, um, when I was the manager in the Tucson, Arizona location before I, I took care of the whole state. And when he called me, he had a, uh, a driver up here in Phoenix. Uh, he was holding a flatbed shipment. He was holding it hostage, and so he was like, "Hey, Nick, uh, I gotta get this off the off the driver and put it onto another truck. Can you help me out? You know, where can I go? Where do you know somebody can do it?" I was like, "Well, dude, just come to my place." It's like, you know, we'll, we'll do it in our yard. Um, and, you know, I've got a younger guy working for me that does uh, our our freight handling, and so I was like, you know, I just just had the driver have a hundred dollars cash, and he'll take care of it for you. You know, it was a, a full 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 flatbed. Uh, I don't know what that weight was on that shipment. I would say probably thirty thousand pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. But anyway, just you know, have them have you know hundred dollars cash, and we'll get you taken care of. No worries. Which is really cheap on a Sunday. Eight a.m. is what they wanted. So it's like, give them a good deal. Uh, I knew this kid would be happy for the hundred dollars cash. So it's like whatever. So we get this set up. I had to. It was a Landstar load, and so I'm on the phone with Landstar a couple times, and they were having tr troubles trying to figure out how to get the driver $100 cash. But I was like, look, that, that's not my problem. Just, just get him the cash. I don't care how you reimburse your driver. Just give him the cash. Right? Take care of my guy. I'm not going to bill anybody for this. This isn't for my business. This is for the kid that's going to come out and unload you. So at 3 a.m., I get a phone call. Um, of course, I was sleeping. Didn't answer it, and uh, it was basically that the driver is running behind. <clears throat> He wasn't gonna be there at eight. It was gonna be like 10.30 in the morning because he got a late start. So I woke up like at 6.15 that morning. Uh, by the way, I'm grilling chicken breast. Uh, tomorrow I head to uh, South Dakota. So I'm telling the story from the past. And then the videos after this will be me loading that truck. But uh, anyway, so I uh, didn't get that. Sent it over to him. I was like, hey, look, looks like the trucks are gonna be there at uh, you know, 10.30 in the morning. Just take care of it at 10.30 in the morning. And he hits me back up. Yeah, hey, no problem, you know, boss. He escaped. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I head out. We start playing golf. Uh, uh, maybe the second, maybe the second hole. And this is a good day. I, I played good that day. Um, phone starts ringing. It started ringing from hole two through hole 17 at least. And I had, I don't know. 15 phone calls during this time, which sucks. It's like you try to take one day off. You just you never get a day off in this business, truthfully. <coughs> so um, anyway, the uh, the guys are like, hey, um, the driver with the freight on his truck, and this is a bonded shipment because it's coming through the United States. Uh, it's not staying in the United States. It's going to an airport, basically. So it's like, you know, the, the driver doesn't want to unload this because uh, you're not a bonded facility. And I told him, I was like, well, you don't have to be a bonded facility to unload a bonded shipment. If I'm going from bonded carrier to bonded carrier, it doesn't matter who's unloading it. It's not touching my facility. It's just going from forklift to forklift. So I'm trying to explain to him uh, my opinion on that. And uh, long story short, the guy was like, no, I'm not coming over. He hangs up on my, my dude, uh, my kid, two different times. And so when Landstar calls me, I was like, hey, you know what? I was trying to do you guys a favor. I've been on the phone already too much about this. It's like, I don't want to be involved. Yeah, I, I told him, your driver's a douchebag. Uh, he's being an absolute asshole, and I don't appreciate him treating my people like this. You know, we're trying to do this as a favor for you guys. This isn't about anything other than the fact that, you know, we're trying to put the, the, the right vibes out there. So, uh, and, and she was pretty cool about it. She's like, all right, so I don't hear from her again. This is probably, at that time, that call is probably 9 o'clock in the morning. So 10.30, what happens? I get the call. Well, the other driver who is going to get loaded with the new stuff is like, hey, well, I'm at your facility. Where is everything going on? It's like, what, you know, Landstar didn't tell you? I was like, no. It's like, oh, well, dude, you're, you're the driver with the freight. He won't come over and, and, and do this. I was like, I, I don't want to tell you. He won't come over and, and let us do it. So it's off. Of course, this guy, he's a good dude. And it's like, oh, my God, you know, I, I don't know. 
Jeez, I've wasted six hours on deadhead here. Sorry about these shadows, guys. Um, six hours on dead here, here, deadhead here, and and uh, you know I just wanted to get this unloaded, or loaded. And I was like, yeah, I get it, man. I was like, but I, I can't do anything if the guy won't come over and get unloaded. I, I don't know what to tell you. Get off the phone with him. Get a call from my customer who I'm doing the favor for, and he's like, oh hey, the police have been involved now. The police are going to make this guy show up at your facility. He's like, okay, well you better let me know what's going on because man, I sent that kid home. You know, he's not going to be there. He's like, you already cost me money having him be available. He's like, okay, yeah, I'll get back in touch with you. Well, of course, didn't hear from him again either. And so, uh, come see, we finished golfing at 11, no, probably about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and now I'm told both drivers are at the facility. And it's like, you got to be kidding me, man. Really? They're now they're both at the facility. I said, I don't have anybody there, so I'll go take care of it. So, uh, the next video after this is me going out there and take care of this. And and I think you guys who've been watching my videos, you know me well enough. I'm not gonna take a bunch of shit off of people, so you know I'm a little pissed off, right? So it's like I, I go out to, to to unload this guy, and the first thing I'm thinking of, who, whoever's got this freight, a he doesn't know the rules, and b he clearly was holding the freight hostage. So what happened was, he took this load. He was supposed to be, I think, in Atlanta by a certain date to make a flight, so that this freight could get to wherever it's, wherever it's going overseas, and he wasn't able to meet that deadline. Okay, so is that Landstar's fault, his fault? I don't know, it doesn't matter, but it's not the customer's fault who's my customer. So I got there and I, I told him straight up, it's like, hey, so, you know, do you have your paperwork that you need now so I can unload you? You know, and just like that too. And he's like, uh, uh, I got my paperwork, you can unload me. I was like, okay, cool. He's like, look, man, I'm not trying to be an, an asshole. And he was saying it nicely. And I, and I just told him, I was like, okay, that might be. I said, but you're not considering everybody else's time involved in this and right away that just set him off and he was like you know what well i freaking pack this shit up and fucking go it's like look it, you're not going anywhere i'm not here now to unload you i'm gonna unload you but i'm just saying you know you could be considerate of the other people in your industry's time that you're taking now so it's not just mine it's just not just the guy this morning here we're doing you a favor this now cost me money but i've got uh, the driver here who's gonna uh, get loaded on he's been here for I don't know, at that point it had been probably five hours or something like that. Well, no, four hours. It's like you, you don't care about other people's time, you care about yours. And you're the one holding the freight hostage. It's like, they, you know, that's on you, brother. If, if, if you're dealing with Landstar, take that up with them. Don't punish your customers because of that. Take that up with your, your broker, not the customer. So we got his ass unloaded, and uh, you'll see that in this video here. But I'll tell you, you know, I, I try to do a favor for somebody once. It's a hundred bucks, man. Do you think my time is worth me running out there, spending, let's count the days, hours. So we'll, we'll just call this about 15 hours of phone calls. If you consider when I first got the call on Saturday to 3 a.m. Sunday morning throughout the golf round, it's not worth my time, dude. I'm, I, it's not worth it to me. I'm not going to do that stuff anymore. But it's like, you know, if you guys, you, my listeners needed some help, I'd be there for you in a heartbeat. But, man, if you're, if you're not going to take care of me, just... just don't ask me for a favor, man. Don't ask me for a favor unless you're going to pay me uh, market price. It's just it's just not worth it, man. We, we do the best we can, and especially everything that's going on right now. Why would I do that? Uh, my time is valuable, too, and, and, and I want to have it with my people I care about as well. So anyway, watch this loading video. Uh, that'll be it for me. Uh, as you guys know already, or well, because I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be heading to South Dakota soon, so. Uh, I'll have some more video for you then. we got some loads to take care of, and I'll be back with you. Doses.